This is Mrs. Jean Hill of Dallas. Could you tell us what you saw? Yes, Mary and I had come down to see the president this morning, and we tried to get a place where we could be away from everyone, and we, I guess, succeeded as the car came down the hill toward us. He was on our side of the street, and uh, the president and Mrs. Kennedy were in the back seat. They had a little dog between them looking at it, and just as the car came right in line with us, the president looked up, and just as he looked up, two shots rang out, and he grabbed his chest, and this real odd look came over his face, and he pitched forward onto her lap. And she jumped up over him at that, and screamed and said, my God, he's been shot. And there was just an instantaneous, sort of an instant pause, and uh, in the motorcade, it momentarily halted, and three or four more shots rang out, and they sped away real quickly. And by that time, I became aware of Mary tugging on my foot, saying, get down there shooting. And I hadn't, it hadn't registered. I'd been so busy looking at the president. So you were in a very advantageous spot to see the president. To see the president, but also to get shot. How do you feel now? Uh, it's been several hours later. Uh, you've talked to the police. And you've given your story several times. Do you still believe that something like this really did happen to you? I don't think I ever could have believed it unless I had actually seen it. And, and when I saw the look come across his face, I knew, it, I knew that he'd been hit. But I don't think I could have believed it if I hadn't been right there and seen, hadn't seen it. Well, you're going to have to talk to the FBI now, and uh, I understand uh, you have some home chores as well. <laughs> breakfast dishes and, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> I think there are an awful lot of homes here in Dallas that have breakfast dishes uh, to be done today. Well, that's right. But uh, I made a call to my friend in Oklahoma, and he told our governor of Oklahoma right away. I guess that's the first thing I wanted to do was get those people in Oklahoma told about it. Thank you very much.